Hi everyone and welcome to Around Carmel with Hunter Fennell. This month's program is a story of persistence, dedication, and proof that hard work does indeed pay dividends. Soon to be completed, the Cottages of Carmel behind me is our June sponsor of Around Carmel with Hunter Fennell. But first, we're proud to announce that our show, which highlights the Monterey Bay and features people in their businesses, is now on Comcast Video On Demand. In short, in addition to watching our show every night at 5.30 and 8, you can also check us out anytime, day or night, on Video On Demand. Click either under the headings Entertainment or Travel and Leisure, and you can see us from the Central Coast all the way north of San Francisco. And of course, you can also view Around Carmel online at aroundcarmel.net. Located in the Carmel Rancho area of Carmel, the cottages of Carmel are now being built. This will be the ideal community for residents seeking to live a carefree lifestyle with all the comforts of home without the concerns of home ownership. You'll meet the owner and staff of the Cottages of Carmel, Don Haupt, the owner, Frank Burke, general manager, Cynthia Duval, sales and marketing director, and Holly Hofer, community relations director of the Cottages of Carmel. And we lead off with the lead person whose quest it was to create this beautiful environment, the Cottages of Carmel, the owner, Don Haupt. Don, great to see you. How you doing? Thank you, Hunter. Talk about the genesis of this whole idea of the Cottages of Carmel. I moved here about seven years ago with my family, Hunter. My kids go to school here, elementary school. And I looked around and I tried to really evaluate what does our community need? And when I found this site, I realized it would be an ideal uh, location for a wonderful senior community. So Don, once you diagnosed exactly what the community needed here, you also factor in something that hits rather close to home. Yeah, what I found was it was a wonderful way that I could pay tribute to my grandmother. Uh, she loved to garden and she also had Alzheimer's and this was in the early days of diagnosing it back in the early 70s. So one of our cottages is dedicated for those folks who need special memory care we call it Stillwater Cottage because still waters run deep. Another thing that we've done that my grandmother would have really appreciated, we have these raised flower beds to make it much easier for seniors to actually do gardening. And Don, as you and I both know, anytime you build something new in the Carmel area, there are going to be obstacles, right? You got to persevere and hang on to your dream, am I right? Yes. You know, Hunter, I've never worked on anything that was as difficult, but I also think it's the most satisfying. I've had many people, many who I don't even know, when they see me on the street, they'll actually give me a hug and say, thank you so much for what you're doing to help our seniors and their family. And Don, obviously, if I look around and see this large project, it signals to me that a lot of people are getting jobs out of this, right? Well, it, it really was something when the county informed me that this is the largest construction project in the county and we've paid very good wages and put literally hundreds of people to work to put this together and we'll have many jobs right here in the community once we open. So all in all, it really is satisfying to me in this difficult time to really be providing good work for people. Well, Don, it's not quite completed yet, but certainly you can see the fruits of your labor and many others. Yes, we're really close. After seven years, we'll be opening next month in July, Hunters. We're putting on the last bits of Carmel stone on the columns and laying the carpeting. So next month in July, we're ready to go. Very exciting. Congratulations to you. Thanks, Hunter. In a moment, we'll meet the new general manager of the Cottages of Carmel. But first, one of the great advantages of this new wonderful community is its proximity to the gems of Carmel, the first of which is just a mere stone's throw from here. Hasselbein Stuhlers is located in the crossroads at 143 Crossroads Boulevard. Our business is mainly fine jewelry and fine Swiss watches. Hasselbein's has been here for 26 years now, and we have people that we started with back you know, 26 years ago that are still coming in the store. We represent Patek Philippe, which is probably the finest watch in the world. Um, we also carry Rolex, which is, everybody knows about Rolex. Um, we have Breguet, um, which is a very fine Swiss watch, um, Omega, and also Ebel. Mainly our clientele are local people in the area, Monterey County. Uh, but we do have people from all over the world, whether it's Tokyo or Hong Kong and, and, and Europe. 
because we do have an unusual fine selection of very rare watches in stock. Hesselbein's is an institution. If there's something that you seriously need, you do not bother going anywhere else. You go directly to Hesselbein's. If I were living in Los Angeles, I would come here to Hesselbein's. Mark Arreas Jewelers, in their new store on Ocean and Carmel. Decades of tradition in business with a brand new approach to jewelry. In short, not everything old is new again, but it can be, and in fact is, here at Mark Arreas Jewelers. Isn't that right, Mark? Yeah, Hunter. In fact, every day I have customers come to me with old pieces of jewelry they're looking to trade in, and we sit down and we restyle it for them. While time still ticks away with Cartier at Mark Arreas Jewelers, Mark's pieces are both timeless and nouveau stylish. Yeah, fashion is what motivates us to change, to want something new, and to recreate a new piece of jewelry. So if it's that outdated piece of jewelry you're just not wearing, or that loose stone you've been meaning to reset, let Mark Arreas Jewelers create something new and exciting, just for you. So if you'd like personal service and custom design, come see us here at Mark Arreas Jewelers, either in Carmel or at our other store in Aptos. On Ocean and Lincoln Avenues in Carmel, at the Pine Inn, is Fortane Estate Jewelers. And inside, we find the people who make Fortane tick. Yes, family is important to us, both ours and yours. And I believe that everything with the past has a future. And here at Fortane, we do have something for everyone. Without a doubt, all of us are here to help you find your perfect gem or timepiece. Absolutely. In fact, we have one of the most important collections of new and rare Rolex watches in the world. Our passion is for fine period and antique jewelry and for our customers, who we hope leave as friends and always come back. And as Chris's pooch Parker can attest, diamonds are indeed a dog's best friend, especially when they come from Fortane in Carmel-by-the-Sea. The quality of products and service are really what make businesses stand out in Carmel. And also in town is a fairly new store that offers something more. Burns Cowboy Shop, located on Ocean Avenue in Carmel-by-the-Sea between Lincoln and Dolores. A cowboy shop in Carmel, you ask? Why? Well, because these are timeless. My family started this business way back in 1876. When you stroll into Burns Cowboy Shop, you can find boots of any kind, from alligator to crocodile, buffalo to hippopotamus, most personally designed by the owner. We've always been in manufacturing of high quality leather goods. Our specialty, my love and passion is boots. Burns boots fit everyone from cowboys to CEOs to country western stars like Brad Paisley. We fit more boots to people that will never see a, a stirrup or a horse, but uh, certainly they're built for functionality and it's a wearable work of art. And check out the classic clothes, Sensational Silver by Clint Orms and Bolin Silver and other awesome accessories, all found in Burns Cowboy Shop in Carmel. The spirit of the West lives here at Burns Cowboy Shop. We love the West, we love Carmel. We're happy to be a part of it. Well, Burns Cowboy Shop wasn't built in a day, but it seems to be managing just fine these days. And speaking of managing, we are here back at the cottages of Carmel with the general manager of this fine organization, Mr. Frank Burke. And Frank, good to see you. First question I have for you is, is the Cottages of Carmel really a retirement community in your mind? Hunter, the notion of a retirement community is one of the things that the Cottages of Carmel hopes to change. And we hope to change that by providing our clients with quality of life, independence and purpose, and the services they need to enjoy that life. Now your title lists you as general manager, but what are your duties really here? As general manager, if one of our clients has an issue or a problem, what it means is the buck stops at me. And the buck stops with you, which means you have confidence having worked in the field with seniors, or as they call them in golf these days, the champions tour, because everybody's trying to change that. But uh, you have a good background in dealing with this type of situation, right? Yes, I've been working with seniors for over 15 years in independent living, assisted living, and Alzheimer's dementia care. And I worked every position in the house, from care manager to medication technician to cook to manager. Which is obviously why they call you the GM, right? What is it you really like about this job, though, Frank, honestly? 
What really is my hot button, if you will, is the sense of community. Taking all of the families that live there and their grandchildren, their children, sons and daughters, the families of the staff members, and bringing them together to create that sense of community is what makes me happy. And what better place than right here in this beautiful community called Carmel, right? That's right. More about the cottages in just a few, but right now seems to be a pretty good time to satisfy another appetite all around the Monterey Bay area. Montreal Bistro, located at 414 Calle Principal in downtown Monterey. We opened this Dynamite Bistro back in 1995. Since then, we've won national, regional, and local awards, and really it's down to our great staff. They're incredible. We would like to think that Montreal Bistro is a dining destination for anyone who loves wholesome and creative food, innovative cocktails, and a great wine list. And we have the people to pull it off. A European-inspired American bistro. We prepare it all, from pancetta wrapped prawns, to lobster BLT, to wood-roasted duck breast. Here at Montreal, it's more than just pouring cocktails and spirits for our guests. It's about creating that wow factor for our guests, and of course, satisfying your thirst. You may try the downtown dining groups, Tarpey's Roadhouse, or Relish Rio Grill, but the masterpiece in Monterey is Montreal Bistro. Open daily for cocktails at 4.30 and dinner at 5. Come join us and admire the great atmosphere here at Montreal Bistro. We want you to love the food and feel good about what you eat. I know you will. Fish Hopper Restaurant, located at 700 Cannery Row in Monterey in the Steinbeck Plaza. And with a view you must see to believe. Well, Sabu, many restaurants I'd imagine have a location like this might just want to rest on their laurels with the view, but not you at the fish hopper, right? That's right, Hunter. Our key ingredients are service, food, and atmosphere. That keeps our guests coming back time after time, no matter where they're from. And they come from all over to dine at the fish hopper, enjoying exotic drinks, such as the bucket of fire, and eating the freshest sustainable seafood by head chef Mohammed Tabib. So we're in the kitchen here with the chef Mo Tabib. And Mo, tell me about some of the great popular seafood dishes here. We have uh, macadamia crusted halibut, extremely popular here. We also have some salmon and sea bass. Uh, of course, our shabino is outstanding. We also have variety of pastas, seafood pastas and whatnot. And steaks. And of course, we have variety, big variety of steak. And there is something for everybody here. Lunch or dinner at the Fish Hopper. We love it here and know you will too. Shake's Old Fisherman's Grotto, located at 39 Fisherman's Wharf in Monterey. And here we are inside the Old Fisherman's Grotto with the dapper owner, Chris Shake. How are you doing, Chris? Doing great. Well, let's talk now about the history of this place. Your dad, Sabu Shake, everybody knew him. 50 years ago, he started and set the tone for your family and for this restaurant, right? Well, he did. Uh, he started out as a dishwasher right here on Fisherman's Wharf and eventually bought this restaurant here. And he'd go right outside and offer the free samples of clam chowder, right? That's right. He actually pioneered that, and this is something that visitors and locals enjoy coming down to Fisherman's Wharf and enjoying a sample of great chowder here at the old Fisherman's Grotto. And the chef, Chris, has brought out three of your signature dishes here at the old grotto. Tell me about them. We have the macadamia crusted halibut with the sweet potatoes with some nice sauteed vegetables. Mm -hmm. Over here we have fresh abalone that's farm raised right Ooh. here in Monterey Bay that's accompanied with some grilled scallops and grilled prawns. Goes well with the wines. It does. And your favorite, am I right? This is my all-time favorite, the tomahawk chop, 22 ounces. It's Ooh. certified Angus beef that is aged for over 28 days. And don't forget these delectable desserts. Shake's Old Fisherman's Grotto, every man's place to dine anytime, lunch or dinner. The Sandbar and Grill, located just underneath the picturesque municipal wharf in Monterey, the wharf away from the main wharf. Yes, you have to find it first, but when you do, you won't be sorry. Kind of a local hideout, I think Sandbar is a great place. You can park right at the door, come down, you have locals, friendly people, great seafood, good place to spend some time. Located here for almost 50 years, the Sandbar and Grill has just improved with time, attracting restaurant goers from all over, and especially for locals who know a great place when they see it. 
If I want to impress visitors from out of town or grab a bite with close friends, where else but the sandbar? The food's fabulous. Calamari, clam chowder, sand dabs. It's the place to be. I've known Craig Ling for years, and his reputation goes right back into the restaurant. The food is excellent, affordable, and consistent, and the wait staff is great. We take great pride at Sandbar. Come to the bar, watch a ball game, hang out with some friends. You'll enjoy it. All very appealing at the Sandbar and Grill on Wharf No. 2 in Monterey. Open for lunch and dinner every day. A huge part of the building of the Cottages of Carmel is the marketing, selling, and sharing within the community in the Monterey Peninsula. In charge of the marketing and sales is Cynthia Duval. And Cynthia, great to see you. How you doing? Wonderful, Hunter. Wonderful to see you and be a part of Around Carmel with Hunter Fennell. I really appreciate it. Now tell us about your job. What is it here at the Cottages of Carmel? Well, Hunter, I am so lucky and so happy to be a part of the Cottages of Carmel. When this opportunity came my way, I took it. I am the happiest person in the world because I get to be the first person that future residents and families meet when they come to visit us at the Cottages of Carmel. I'm able to show future residents and their families how they can live a more carefree lifestyle without the, the concerns of home ownership. So Cynthia, this beautiful complex will have three different cottages whose names sort of tie into the area. Can you elaborate? Yes, Hunter. We have three cottages at the Cottages of Carmel. In addition to our beautiful living rooms with double-sided fireplaces, our bistros, our libraries, our indoor and outdoor anytime dining rooms, we have the Bixby Cottage, so named as it's the bridge between our two other cottages. Mm -hmm. We also have our Highlands Cottage, which looks south towards the Carmel Highlands with beautiful views of the Fish Ranch. And then we have a special cottage, Hunter, called Stillwater. This cottage is dedicated to our residents with Alzheimer's and other dementias. So Cynthia, you estimated time of arrival or completion for the cottages of Carmel? We are on schedule to open this summer, Hunter. The best way to get in touch with me is to call me at 620-1800 or email me at Cynthia at the cottages of Carmel.com. It looks very exciting. Congratulations. Thank you, Hunter. We'll speak with Holly Hofer, Director of Community Relations for the Cottages, in just a moment. But first, the Cottages of Carmel soon is going to be a fine work of art, following right along the footsteps of these fine Carmel businesses. Dawson Cole Fine Art is on the corner of Lincoln and 6th in Carmel by the Sea. This is where you'll find most impressive art by world-renowned sculptor Richard McDonald. For two decades, his sensational sculptures have captivated art lovers in Carmel, throughout America, and around the globe. And who better to acknowledge his talent than the director of Dawson Cole Fine Art, McDonald's daughter, Michelle. My father has always had a real fascination with the human form, and he has a profound understanding of the human experience and emotions. While Richard McDonald travels the world working with Cirque du Soleil performers and world-class dancers, it's inside his 24,000 square foot studio in Monterey, California, where live models give him the inspirations for his creations. McDonald's larger than life bronze called Momentum graces the beautiful golf grounds here in Pebble Beach. And now McDonald has been commissioned by the Royal Ballet School of London to create a monument to classical dance scheduled for unveiling in 2012 and we'll be having a special preview of the first sculptures of some of the principal dancers of the London Royal Ballet on October the 1st. The Amazing McDonald at Dawson Cole Fine Art, Carmel. Gallery Elite International Fine Art Collection, located in Carmel by the Sea on San Carlos between 5th and 6th Streets. So Teresa, tell me about this beautiful gallery called Gallery Elite. Gallery Elite was established in the year 2000. I purchased it in 2008. I am the recipient truly of this beautiful 6,000 square foot gallery, the biggest gallery in Carmel. Now tell me about this artist we see here in the main uh, room. It's Royo. Tell yes, us about Royo. Royo is a new addition to the gallery. He is truly one of the best. He um, is from Barcelona. He's an artist that actually painted the portrait of the King of Spain. Juan Carlos, Juan right? Carlos and his wife, and so we're very excited about him being here. Now, can you show us uh, other beautiful art Absolutely. here on the main Please floor? Please, follow me, by all means. 
This wonderful uh, artist is William Barra. William Barra is from Santa Fe. One of his specialty is the French Riviera. Ah, oh, it's just beautiful. And then as we follow back here, this is Vladimir Muhin. He is an artist from Russia. He is a brilliant artist. And I understand really young, right? He's only 39 years old. Wow. And my goodness, Teresa, when we come upstairs here, so much more than just paintings. Yes, there is, Hunter. For example, the collection of the late Luciano throughout the whole gallery. And then we have a local artist by the name of Robert Lewis. And so much more. Gallery Elite is at the very top, featuring art that appeals to the elite eye. Bittner, The Pleasure of Writing, located on Ocean Avenue in San Carlos in Carmel-by-the-Sea. And I'm with the owner now, Detlef Bittner. Hello, Hunter. Great to see you. We're so excited. This is our 20th anniversary at Bittner, and we have created the most amazing collection of fine writing instruments from around the world. Let me show you. Montegrappa for Alfa Romeo, the 100th anniversary of this incredible mark. Combinations in sterling silver, carbon fiber, and red celluloid. Bentley riding instruments created just like the cars, only the finest materials and finest craftsmanship, just pure excellence. David Oscarson, creations in sterling silver and hard enamel, just like Fabergé designs. Cuervo y Sobrinos masterpieces, Created with the Latin soul and precision Swiss engineering. Enjoy. Bittner, the pleasure of writing. Carmel. The person responsible for writing the game plan for the cottages of Carmel is the community relations director. She is Holly Hofer, who's with me right now. And Holly, I know you grew up in this area. You have community in your blood, but tell me, why do you believe there's really a need for the cottages of Carmel in this area? Oh, we hear from people every day that there's a great need for a community like ours. As you say, I grew up here in Carmel and I really know the residents well. We have a lot of seniors who are at a stage in their life where they need to simplify and it, they can enjoy the benefits that the cottages of Carmel has to offer. So Holly, what's so special?